I do have to say that I was surprised. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Elvira. I'm a Swiss-based social media influencer. On my Instagram account, I publish everything. Fashion, beauty, lifestyle related, a lot of travel actually lately. So if you're interested in one of these subjects, feel free to follow me there. In today's video, we're going to discuss Amina Muadi's Insta famous shoes. I am myself the happy owner of four Minamuari shoes, three sandals, and one pair of boots. And when I say happy owner, I totally mean it. I'm in love with all of my pairs of shoes. But I also heard a lot of complaints coming towards Minamuari regarding quality issues, bad customer service, etc. This is why I wanted to film this video today. But first, let me introduce you to my little collection. The first pair of Amina Muadi shoes I ever got were these Gilda Mules. I got them in Milan two years ago when it was absolutely impossible to get your hands on a minimum wide issue. So when I randomly bumped into this in my size in the concept store in Milan, I immediately got them. I would say that so far it is also my most worn pair of shoe from the brand. These have seen red carpets, these have seen La Croisette when I had to walk for 20 minutes, they have seen dance clubs, they have seen bars, they have been places. And they still look stunning, nothing to declare. However, this will be discussed when we will talk about quality shoes. The second pair of Amina Muadi shoes I got were these Lupita Mules. I got them in white because I wanted to wear them mainly in summer. Uh, that is an open shoe. But weirdly enough, I've only worn them a couple of times yet. They are incredibly comfortable, very easy to style. I 100% understand why this is one of the most popular model at Amine Muadi because honestly, they deliver everything. They deliver style, they are comfortable, they're so very easy to wear and style on an everyday basis. The fourth pair of shoe I got from Amine Muadi was a surprise even for me. I got myself the Rain boots, fun name, right? Because these are definitely not rain boots. I will not be caught dead wearing this under the rain because the leather is very delicate. I wouldn't want to ruin them under the rain. I got this last winter and I wore them about five times. They are extremely comfortable and frankly, when you know Amina Muadi's price range, these come rather cheap. I believe they were under 1,000 euros, which for Amina Muadi boots is not that expensive, you know what I mean? These are super elegant, silhouette flattering, and I've been getting tons and tons of compliments when I've been wearing them. Last but not least, a couple of months ago, was it two months ago, I got myself these. This is the Hanson sandal. I believe it's a rather new model at Amina Muadi with these two straps. I got it because I felt like it is a perfect pair of shoes for summer, especially when you don't like having very stiff shoes on you, which is my case. I wore this twice already, once for the Burgenstock white party, which lasted forever, so we've been dancing all night long, and these were life saviors, so comfortable. And the second time was for the Dior photo shoot two days ago. Also worth mentioning the sizing. All of my Amina Muadi shoes are half a size up. So I usually wear 38 in Amina Muadi's. I always order 38 and a half and it fits like a glove. Let's now get to the pros and cons of the Amina Muadi shoes. Among the pros, I must say, and I've been using this word a lot in this video, but comfort. These are the most comfortable heels I own. and. I've been wearing heels since I'm 14. The fact that Amina Muadi's heels, not all of them, but most of them, the most iconic ones, come in this flat shape. Well, this makes the shoe super comfortable. I never had to think about my heel getting stuck in the pavement. The flat heel also helps for stability, when you know you know. For the heel aesthetic itself, you either love it or you hate it. There is no in between. I've personally been a fan since day one. So when I'm buying Amina Muadis, I only buy flat heels because it's very recognizable. And as I said, I appreciate the comfort of this flat heel. Someone on Instagram also asked me if it is too late to purchase your first pair of Amina Muadis shoes and whether the trend was gone. I do think that the limelight on Amina Muadis dimmed a little bit in the past couple of months. Like when you google the brand, you can now purchase a pair without much effort. So the hype on the shoe being hard to score is a bit gone now, but you can find them in Muadi on many websites and there are many sizes 
available like on Etaporte, Luz de Aroma, etc. I purchased my first pair of Amina Muadis, this model. At that concept store, I think they had four different models and I just asked for my size, like in any model. I would have gotten them in any color because I just wanted to get my hands on these iconic shoes. And I was lucky to get them in this rather timeless color. So yeah, if you've been considering purchasing your first pair of Amina Muadis shoes because they are so popular, I feel like with the quantity of choices you have today, you can really be picking and choose the perfect pair for you. Now for the cons. I'm on TikTok, so I definitely haven't missed the amount of hate coming toward Amina Muadi lately because of quality issues. Since heels falling off, crystals coming off, terrible finish, soles being ripped, and many horrific things you don't want to have when purchasing a luxury shoe. Now, regarding the shoes I have. So for the first pair of shoe I purchased, the Gilda Mills, I do have to say that I was surprised and a bit disappointed by the quality. No, not gonna lie, when I purchased them, I didn't give a F about any of these details. I just wanted to own my first pair of Amina Muadis, but I do have eyes. So I saw the glue traces that are all over the heel. I think you can still see it here. Definitely still see it here. This is all glue I couldn't remove. Like, all the area around the heel is rather poorly done, I'm sorry to say this. It still removes something. I think it's a bit of glue. Honestly, it's nothing alarming. I would have taken them if they were like in a disgusting condition. But still, I was surprised that for a shoe this price, the quality was like this. I do have to say, however, that this shoe has seen everything, it has been everywhere, and the crystals are still here. All of them. And I haven't been gentle with this shoe. Like, I wear my stuff, okay? I walk in my stuff. I dance in my stuff. So, so after everything I heard about I Amina mean, Muadi's quality shoe, I'm rather surprised in a good way that all of the crystals are still here. Also talking about the little crystals falling, if you want my humble opinion, people have been giving I Amina mean, Muadi so much shit about the fact that some stones are falling. But like guys, crystal stones is not a novel product. These issues can happen at any brand. Give you a little example. I have a pair of expensive Roger Vigier sneakers that have this iconic Roger Vigier buckle, also made of these stones. After wearing this like five, four times, one of the biggest stones fell. And then I lost it. So just to tell you that it can really happen at any brand. The other thing that is worth mentioning concerns the rain boots, especially this part, as you can see. And I told you I wore them like four times. I already ripped a bit this part. It has honestly nothing to do with the quality of Amina Muadi boots. It has everything to do with the shape of the boot, of course, and the fact that the sole itself is very thin. So in the future and i think i'm going to do it next week i'm going to add a sort of protective sole for this part and i'm also going to see with the shoemaker if he can do anything for the points so yeah if i have to give you a tip regarding these boots is that put a protective sole directly after purchasing them because they are a bit fragile if we are to talk about quality there is one shoe i would absolutely not recommend to anyone it is this model or any variations of this model made of pvc truthfully i wouldn't recommend it at any brand let alone an expensive one like amina muari simply because it's plastic you guys pvc is plastic so it's basically not worth your money it is uncomfortable as hell and dirt actually stocks in the part where is the pvc meets the sole so it's rather nah in my opinion however i'm really considering my next pair of high heels being another amina muari shoe of course I really want the rosy model, this one comes with this cute little bow, 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 bow. This thing was a little stones and I want it in black satin. I feel like it still screams iconic Amina Muari without being the vegan model which has been seen a lot, you know, the one with the buckle. So yeah, I really think this one will be my next purchase from Amina Muari. Woo, it's time to wrap up this little video. I'm very curious to hear your thoughts on Amina Muadi, so feel free to share your experiences, bad or good, below in the comment section. And well, thank you for watching.